Hey guys, I wanted to chat with you really quickly about eating on vacation and how tricky that can be and what better place to do that than on vacation while wearing a bikini. I am absolutely loving my vacation. I needed it so desperately this year and I'm having a great time and I am not tracking macros this week. I made myself that promise. I did track a little the first few days. I mean, I do know what I'm eating. Um, but if we go out to eat, I'm not really checking to make sure that it fits. It's just what it is. I know what else I'm eating. I know what the things I purchased and I'm eating at home and my like home away from home, what those are and how much uh, those cost in terms of macros. So as long as I'm staying around where I should be, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not having a bunch of ice cream or desserts or anything like that. A little bit of alcohol, which I will be ceasing now because I fully support people who don't drink because alcohol is definitely not something that I feel I need in my life most of the time. Though every so often it can be kind of fun. Um, yeah, so I am eating on vacation and I have actually picked up eating Activia again. I was eating that a lot for a couple of years to help with my digestion as I figured out how to be gluten free and what was going on with my body. And then I stopped because there, I did stop eating yogurt because there was a lot of sugar in it and my main goal was to be thin and skinny and to lose weight and I was not so focused on maintaining like a regular healthy body. So I'm starting to pick that up again and I know they do Greek Activia, which I think I'm gonna try because I've really been into the Greek yogurt and getting that protein in do it. But I've really been into Greek yogurt, so I think that I'm gonna try the Greek Activia and see how that treats me. I've been liking the Total Zero Oikos, and I think the Activia is full sugar, but we'll just have to see and like price it out, uh, as I like to say, and just kinda of see where I'm at and see if it's worth it. And then other than that, we've been having a lot of like rice cakes. I did buy caramel and butter po buttered popcorn and salted, not non-salted rice cakes for my room and I'm putting peanut butter and jelly on rice cakes which is amazing you should try it and I really really enjoy just the caramel rice cakes and then we also got some cheese sticks and then for breakfast I've been having like an Activia and a cheese stick and then I did have a protein bar today because we went out on a boat and so I wanted to be full and then we have packets of protein we brought along like the Quest protein packets and so that was we've been doing that a little I haven't had those a whole lot um, but they're pretty good they're pretty good they do clump a lot though which I was surprised by because Quest is usually so on point and everything is really amazing and it does taste good and it has great nutritional value and everything it just clumps a lot but that could also be because I don't have a blender bottle I'm just mixing it in a cup so might be user error we'll see um, shout out to my red nose and my forehead. I wear sunglasses because I have light eyes and so it hurts my face. So I have like white. So yes, I have sun tan lines and white spots all over me. So, but that's okay. It's vacation. And we were able to play cards with my grandma and that was really fun. And my sister was able to try on her bridesmaid dress. So that was really fun. Her maid of honor dress. And that's about it. I have also picked up some fiber powder and so that's really been helping because I've gone through a really weird cycle with my digestion. So I went gluten free four years ago and then my digestion kind of like stopped working. I wasn't feeling very well. So I figured out I wasn't having enough fiber. So then I started over fibering. I was having prune juice every day and Activia every day and Quest Bar, which is a ton of fiber, and just fiber, 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 and I would have fiber oatmeal, and I was just a fiber monster, and so I was doing that, and then I was over fibering, and so I kind of like hurt my stomach, and it would, I like stripped the lining of my stomach, and it was just really, I was overdoing it, and so then I switched, and was like, okay, that's, I don't need to do that anymore, I need to drink uh, more water, so I drank a bunch of water, and then I realized I'm drinking too much water, and the reason I'm drinking too much water is because I'm eating too much sodium. 
so now I'm going a little bit lower sodium and eating more protein. Okay, I need more protein to help with my digestion. And so now I'm eating less sodium, drinking a decent, like, appropriate amount of water. I am eating a lot of protein. Everything's been really, really good. I'm exercising every single day. Not on vacation, but that doesn't count. And I've been doing great. And then I realized that I am back to having not enough fiber because I've been eating a lot of chicken and vegetables and whole foods and granted a lot of whole foods do have fiber in them but I was not eating those whole foods I was eating chicken and vegetables especially for the past week week and a half as I got ready for vacation tried to do a little bit of like a mini cut I wasn't cutting my calories but I was replacing my calories with like strictly protein and strictly vegetables and um, so that is an interesting turn of events. Back to the fiber train, back to trying to figure that out. I feel better than ever, so I'm really enjoying this vacation because I feel amazing and I finally figured out what's going on with my body and it feels great. And it will be nice to get back home and keep working out in the morning. And I, it's funny, I was thinking that, well, you know, this vacation has been my main goal, like my aesthetic goals for this vacation have been really a driving factor for me with my working out so now I want to find a new motivation so I do have other vacations and things coming up but like this is my big family reunion where everyone I know comes and it's really important to me and so this is where I really wanted to look my best and show off the new me because for so many years I was an unhappy unhealthy person and so I'm thinking about possibly looking into bikini competitions and figure competitions and I am thinking about other goals and maybe like 5Ks. I did run a 5K before vacation. I actually shaved off about six minutes off my time from last year. And so that was really, really fun and encouraging. And I'm just gonna try to mix it up and see how I feel. You can see me vlogging with my phone in the mirror window. Not a mirror, it's a window. And so that's been interesting. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do next. And I do think I would like to do some sort of comp competitions or something like that because this is like a really fun hobby and passion of mine. I would like to start vlogging and doing more meals and meal based videos because especially with gluten free and healthy sometimes it's easy to fall into the gluten free hole and just eat potatoes and bagged foods all the time and so I, I've kind of found my way out of that and I would love to share with others how I got that done and so I'm gonna give you one more shot of the beautiful beach it's absolutely gorgeous here and then say goodbye for now and I will talk to you later